Um, how are you? I'm good. How 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 far art thou? Pretty good. Just uh, you know, chilling with my homie. Anyway, I started recording like ten seconds ago. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, good evening, my dearest exiles, and welcome back to We Are Bad at Games, the series where Yosarian and I. Hello. Plunge headlong into the depths of mediocrity for your amusement. Tonight, after a bit of a break, we're once again stepping into the HEV suit of Dr. Gordon Freeman as he ventures into the heart of the Combine menace itself, the Citadel. Who knows what biomechanical terrors await in these cold, dark corridors. Don't you know? With Yosarian at the helm once again, it's time to find out. Yeah, don't you already know what lies in store in these cold tunnels? That's true. I know. Yes, that's a good point. But where the fuck am I? What? You're at the base of the citadel. Okay. So. Remember you? So. Oh we... fuck me. I'm good. <sighs> All right, you were. You were yes. saying something I'm sure is important. So you just finished fighting through the streets of City Seventeen, leading uh -huh. the rebellion. Um, and then you took out the Combine's, uh, human reproduction suppression field, um, with the help of, you know, your allies that you were able to command, um, right. and then, uh, you were deposited down here, um, and what you're trying to do is infiltrate the Citadel, and rescue Alex's dad. You know, it again. occurs to me that like I could have just watched our video. Yeah, yeah. Where's the loyalty to the channel, man? Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, you know I'm I need subscribed. Those, I need those fucking views. <laughs> Daddy needs a new pair of views. <laughs> All right. Uh, these folks. God damn it, Valve! You've done it again. You, you masterminds, you. I don't know how to solve this puzzle. Um, it's not a puzzle. It's sh literally... Shut your mouth. Right there. What did I just say about your mouth? Uh, also, why am I using... Oh, God, I forgot how to navigate everything. Can I crouch in this game? Yes, okay. <laughs> Can you crouch? Yeah, do, it has yes. been some time. <laughs> June 26th. What What'd you just call me? I don't even remember. I'm not paying attention to the words coming out of my mouth. I've got bigger <laughs> fish to fry. <laughs> uh, I would take it as a kindness if you'd refer to me by my handle instead of my first name. Oh, did I? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Like, I can... You if know, you I don't want to get doxxed, you'll behave yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I guess, like, now that we're both <laughs> professionals, we... We, we kind of got a uh, mutually assured destruction policy. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Although one of us has a bit more to lose than <laughs> t'other. I suppose that's true. One of us has a freaking house. All right. Oh, well, I was going to say one of us has a permanent gig. Right, right. One of, the, one of us needs that gig, though, to someday pay for a house, whereas the other one has the house taken care of. True. We're, we don't need to get into comparisons here. Yes. This, this joke's getting a, a bit dicey. Yeah. We don't need to, you know, Bust measure our life, abacus. our life progress dicks. <laughs> ah, it's good to be back. <laughs> good to be back, folks. What is the... Oh, don't mind if I do. Looks like someone's oh, going wait. for a ride. I was, take, I was making a stupid joke that actually was... was what you're supposed to do. Eventually. This is... Can you imagine being oh, swung that, around like this? Uh-oh. Am I going to uh, die? It's, your okay. silence says volumes. Yep. <laughs> 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 oh, I forgot to fucking save. This game doesn't have... God damn it. Oh. It has... It, it's auto-save. Okay. Cool. Nice. Never it's, mind. You know, it's fucking Valve. They're not game development barbarians. <laughs> 
they don't have objective markers in this era. You know, who knows? It's the wild goddamn west of game development. It's called immersion, bro. I'm trying to immerse myself in this interactable object, and it's not well, working. Clearly, you're not supposed to. <laughs> Look, you just did this. Immerse these nuts, okay? <laughs> like, insert clip of Voss from Get Far Cry 3. The definition of insanity? Insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again. Expected shit. shit to change. Yeah. Okay, well... Okay, well, that, that's just like a fun Easter egg way to commit suicide? <laughs> there are two tracks. Oh, you're saying get in one of the boxes, but not the other one. Okay. You know when I said it's good to be back? <laughs> um, I thought this was supposed to be a good game. It is. I thought you were supposed to be a... Oh, wait. That's right. Being good at games is not what we do here. Listen, I'm a great gamer. Just as long as that game is Super Smash Bros. Melee and it is 2006. Now we get a little bit of a uh, sightseeing tour of the interior of the Citadel, which I think is actually sort of a callback to the intro to Half-Life 1. You know, the infamous uh, tram ride into Black Mesa. I recall. What was that? The fuck? That was something called a stalker. Well, it was a rhetorical question, bravo. Did you, I mean, did you not see him stalking along? I wouldn't call that stalking. He was more uh, trudging. Yeah. I know a good stalk when I see one. You wouldn't know a good stock if it jumped up and bit you in the testicles. Oh god. Look at this. You call that a stalker? Ooh. Those are striders. Yes, bravo. I've encountered striders before. It's the stalkers the that were novel. The combine are all about those, you know... Ambulatory mounds. <laughs> Verbal designations. <laughs> All, well, that's not true. But many designations are verbal. I would, I dare say, most designations are verbal. I don't know. I mean, does your is your name a verb? I, Can you, you know? Oh well, verbal doesn't just mean verbs, though. Oh, sorry. Okay, what what am I trying to... I know what, what you're trying to say, I but I'm, I'm wondering if there is another word that distinguishes the two. <laughs> I don't know if we verbally can talk about verb... Using a, it, a verb as a... As a Verbaciously. Name. Two professional writers. Let's hope this doesn't get back to any of our bosses. <laughs> oh, God. They must never know. We're, we're paying these fucking morons? <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, am I going to take fall damage? Whee! Oh! Nope. Okay. Alright, shit's ah. about to get real. My stuff! About to get really real. Keep your eye on the gravity gun. You pieces of shit. Oh, you're, you're not going to be sorry in a second. Hmm, that's interesting. It is. What the fuck? Remember how you could only pick up inanimate objects before? Huh. That's right. You just went Super Saiyan, Burrow. Oh my god. But I kind of liked my other guns. Um. What the what? I understand, like, you know, show, don't tell, but, like, maybe show and clarify? I would never have known. Like I said, it's ah. called Im immersion, bruh. 
I mean, why can't they immerse me into a scenario where people explain things? Whee! Oh my He's god. He's beginning to believe. He's beginning to What? Kill the spark! You're fine. Whee! Your car's not damaged. <laughs> I can just, I, I hear snide comments percolating over there. <laughs> just solve the puzzle. It's not a puzzle. Oh. It was, all right, I solved the puzzle. There you go. Ah. Ooh, that looks like it hurt. Well, I'm pretty sure he's They'll dead. They'll never know. The perfect crime. Oh man, that's just cruel. <laughs> nice. Well done. The fuck? They're the uh, secondary fire from the pulse rifle. Right. Um, I... Which are also incidentally power sources. Uh, the, yes, the uh... power pellets. Ah! Ah! Oh, it's a loading zone. All according to plan. It is you alone who have chosen to act with such willful disregard for humanity's future. Yeah. You willfully disregarding I caught a person. blast. <laughs> yes. Well, uh if if I ever get a chance to retort, if this guy gives me a second to breathe, maybe I'll have something nice to say. I'll be like Hey, Bucko, you're Icono outclassed. <laughs> He's... What the fuck? Told you, man. Power fantasy. Come to me. A little too far. There you go. Where am I supposed to go? Ah. Look at that. Ah. What the... Whoa. How was that? I've got no clue. Me neither. Me neither. As Reapy Cheap says. As who says what? Fuck off! Re Reapy Cheap, the little uh, mouse, the noble mouse from uh, Narnia. Perish! <laughs> Whee! Ah! And why'd you have to withstand wave after wave of these guys? Or is... Oh, yes, I see. Ah, uh, uh, there you go. How very Halo of them. We're, we're not in the same key. We're not in the same key. We're not in the same tempo. I, I don't even think... I think I started off on the right key and then, like, halfway through it, lost it. I don't think I ever had it, so... At least one of us was, like, halfway there. You know, we call it... it let's, we call it jazz. <laughs> there you go. Yes. the uh, It's intentional dissonance. <laughs> Absolutely. Wh who is... Mm. What good are these goddamn barriers? Uh. Whee! <laughs> I will form an impenetrable fortress. Hmm. Hmm. Impenetrable, I say. And also impossible to see through. Huh? Yes, well. As long as it's also impossible to shoot through. All right, let's do this. Quick save. Ah, all right. I hope you didn't just soft lock yourself. Yeah, we will find out. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you got nothing. <laughs> what? What is this? I think you have to kill them. Nope. Oh, get fucked. Ha ha. <laughs> 
Yeah. How, do you, how, do you, <laughs> how do you like that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice dodge. I mean, he literally just, you know, walked slightly to the right. Yeah. That's a nice dodge. I... Ow, you pieces of what the... Ass! <laughs> what the dick? What? I have one health. I think this is where you're supposed to get off. On an elevator? Nasty. Put the kids to bed, folks. We were <laughs> blue here. Yeah, this is a Half-Life Blue shift. Ah, uh, yes. The uh, worst of the original Half-Life expansion packs. Rut row. Oh, hmm. there's a number that was going down. Aha! There he goes. <laughs> there he goes again. Running through my citadel. <laughs> Otacon, I'm at the sneak point. Stealth camo's busted. I don't want to save scum, but I'm going to, because I actually do want to. <laughs> this. How did they get the Strider? in here. Uh, the Shiner's already here. They built a facility around it. Uh, fair enough, I guess. But then where did the Strider come from? Boop. He's like, ow, something grievously wounded me. Better Boop. not investigate. <laughs> He's just fascinated by that wall. There we go. <laughs> Fuckers. Oh no. Come back. <laughs> uh, hmm. Is it is it me? Am I am I just is, failing? Am I fat? I can't fit in. I've just, just Try it again. Try it, try it not I jumping. I did try it not, and that was the previous attempt. I've done three jumps to, in one non-jump. Have you walked up and pressed E? I didn't have to press E last time. Are these... Well, try it this time. Okay. Do I look like a Valve employee to you? Is that a Valve employee? Yeah, that's the one guy who's still working on Half-Life 3. Okay. I'm hmm. gonna die again, aren't I? It's an ominous looking Your laser. silence once again. Get rerouted. Ah, they're taking me straight up to see the president. To the penthouse! Whee! Or am I in the fifth dimensional library of Interstellar? Ah, could be. Anyways, you got some more uh, sights to see. Some uh, enemies that were cut from the game. Interesting. Gunships going out to do some gunshipping. Ooh. Wow, look at that view. Even the Guardians would be envious of that. The ones from Destiny? Yeah, that the view from the tower. Oh no! Your Super Saiyan gravity gun! Fool. Give it back! You know not what forces you meddle with. Oh, it's this chick! I'll Dr. Mossman. I'm sorry, Gordon. Hi there, Bravo here. Before we move on, I have a small request for you. If you're enjoying the video, please remember to leave a like, or even better, a comment or a subscription. It's just a click for you, but it's vital to the survival of small channels like mine. Thanks! Back to the video. To describe with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Breen. 
Genocide. Limited vocabulary. We've got like lots of words, my guy. Yeah. Well, if it isn't going ah. to Freeman at last. The claw. You have my gratitude, Doctor. First, you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend, and then you deliver yourself. If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. He sounds like Tom Hanks. And yeah, you fucking moron. ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> Dr. Breen. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli. For making human juice. Good of all people. Maybe you'll do it for one of them. What? Oh no, Alex! Oh my God, he's got a third claw. Right. God damn you, bring you let her go. That's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance her mother never had? <laughs> How dare you even mention her? Yeah. My dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, Ooh. let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combined portal. Go ahead, Bree. If that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. Oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately... The resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control him. To discuss this in front of your friends, I'll send them on their way and then we can talk open. Well, can one, we? Yeah, one of us can talk. I'm so sorry. Alex, shoot her. Judith, what do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never oh. do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. She's about to get killed. Get in here. They hmm. know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Why didn't we get one of those things? I don't know. Seems like that would have been super useful. Don't. It's like a combination. What do? Taser, EMP. Oh no, he's got the Super Saiyan gun. Hi. Okay. Is it the afterlife? Also... What? How did... It's the Super Saiyan gun, man. Not saying goodbye. Never. Come on, Gordon. Let's go. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm totally unarmed. It's globe time. <laughs> You're gonna throw the entire world at them. There you go. We haven't known each other very long, but oh. I know you didn't have to do this. I had to rescue my father, but you Well there he is. Whoa, what is that thing? Ugh. And he just left the super weapon? Nice. <laughs> he's just like, bye. Yeah, bye, suckers. Maybe he's just, uh. Oh my God. Ah. This is the Citadel's dark fusion reactor. It powers their tunneling entanglement device. Well, you're just throwing science I words. Can't like this again. We've got to stop Dr. Breen. I can't shut it down. Looks like he's turned over control to the other side. You'll have to go into the core and do what you can. Uh... I've got a, a bad history with going into reactor cores. Yeah. Are you not... Like, your dad was right there. Did he not tell you the story of what happened the last time 
Gordon Freeman went into the core of a reactor. Why do I have to? Because you've got the HEV suit. I guess, but like, she's got the sonic screwdriver. Ah! All right. Bye. <laughs> okay. Always love you. <laughs> All right. Sounds like it's uh, oh. final boss time. Oh God. I had enough of this shit with Remnant. Ooh, look at that! It's Whoa. a fancy bubble. Doctor there he is. Wh where he is? Oh, in the you bubble. Really shouldn't be out there. At the moment of synapse, as I teleport, this chamber will be bathed in deadly particles that have yet to be named by human science. Perhaps when I have the leisure to do the work myself, I'll name one of them after you. That way you won't be completely forgotten. Ah, uh, yes. Make this jump? I will be far away from here, in another universe as a matter of fact. You, on the other hand, will be destroyed in every way it is possible to be destroyed, and even in some which are essentially impossible. Wow. I really throw in the book at you, huh? I guess so. It's like, look guys, we've been over this. Also, this guy already told you that I'm about to die. Like, what are you doing in this room with me? I don't know what you can possibly hope to achieve, apart from your own annihilation. He's got a point. All right, what were you saying? I don't know what morphine was gonna do do for you in that situation. Ah. Oh. <laughs> ah. Okay. Nice. Just made it. Great. Oh no, Brain started his ascent. Did he? Uh. Hurry, Gordon, before he escapes. What am I hurrying? Okay, I kind of just like winging it here. Keep going. Ah! Keep going. No! Where? You fool! Oh, there's a floor here. Yes. Just barely. Are you still with us, Dr. Freeman? Not for much longer, I think. A tea. Yes. Down more smug. Well, I'll harness some boundless energy, all right. I'll harness it right upside your face. Oh is it? Look at the thing. It's doing a thing. Oh, it's doing a thing. Yeah. Oh, no. Really, it's the most annoying enemies. How, how long do you want to look at this thing? I'm supposed to be stopping that thing, aren't I? Now you, you're going to have to take out the gunships using only the gravity gun. Huh, I didn't know those could block bullets. There's a reason why they're just kind of, you know, killing you in place. There you go. Oh, oh, Did I jukes. Thread the that jukes. Needle? Nice, there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, so it only takes like, what, three? It's only gonna take one more shot to kill you. What does the you math type say, QED? Uh, yes, but that's not really where... I don't really think that that works in that situation. Uh, case in point. There you go. Nice. Well done. Huzzah. Good job. Indeed. And you remember to quick save. I'm so proud. Oh my god. A, a real hero's journey arc I've gone through here. So. No, he's is he? What do you want me to do about it? Oh, oh here I go. I'm going to stop him. Oh no. What do you th what do you think? Maybe try blowing up the energy source. It's shielded. Not from every angle. Also, I didn't know this is an energy source. There you go. Go back, Freeman. You have no idea what you're doing. 
Uh, I think he's... He's not got wrong! A... <laughs> I've got no clue what the fuck <laughs> I'm doing! Yeah, fair enough. But How many what... of these fucking things are there? Oh, I see, they're layered. I forgot about that. Thinking hasn't done me any good. No. Yeah. Thinking is not what we do around here. <laughs> Maybe we should Wait, get how... out of the way. What are you doing here? Yeah. Let's do... Oh, no. Oh. Hmm, this is familiar. Hush, you. Is it really that time again? It seems as if you only just arrived. You've done a great deal in a small time span. You've done so well, in fact, that I've received some interesting offers for your services. Ordinarily, I wouldn't contemplate them, but these are extraordinary times. Hmm? <gasps> Rather than offer you the illusion of free choice, I will take the liberty of choosing for you. If and when your time comes round again. I do apologize for what must seem to you an arbitrary imposition, Dr. Freeman. I trust it will all make sense to you in the course of... Well... I'm Space! Really at liberty to say. In the meantime, this is where I get off. Oh my. I got off the elevator. Toodles. Oh my goodness, what a cliffhanger. Man, the writer really milked that fucking time bit. Yeah, a little bit. Well, sounds like it's time, you know, not tonight, but time to uh, get our episode one on. All in due time. Time. We'll have a very fun, well, I can't really <laughs> say. Oh. All right, well, you know, hey, I finally fucking played Half-Life 2. So you did. With your best friend. With my best friend in the whole world. Aw. I love you too. Alright, I didn't say that. I said best friend. I love you. Fine. Fine. <laughs> I don't want to be that way about it. Love you. Yes, I know. I love you too. Alright. So... That was Crack Legal team. team. Is that how they got this game done? <laughs> <laughs> they were doing so much crack they required a specific legal team for it. <laughs> ah. Oh my god, a head crab. Ah! So that was Half Life Two. The base game anyway. As mentioned, we've still got episodes one and two to get through. And honestly, as good as Vanilla Half-Life 2 is, the uh, DLCs are really where the quality goes through the proverbial roof. Anyways, I want to hear your thoughts about the game as a whole, but we're going to have to save that for next time in the wrap-up episode. Once again, thank you so, so much for lending us your time and attention. As always, a like is greatly appreciated. A comment even more so, and a subscription most of all. More info will be available in the description should you desire it. Take care until next time. This is November Bravo. And your Sarian. Over and out. Time. <laughs> Space. <laughs> Space. I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space!